Hey, well, your old buddy Razor's got the fever. Oh, by the way. A couple of eagles sitting out on boys' dredge. Anyhow, I'm gonna set up a recirculating system and get ready to test it out. Be a test for me. Ugly weather. This is what I figured Caleb and Dennis Dayton was gonna show up to, but it didn't happen. Long hike. <clears throat> At least it feels like a long hike. All the way up to the road up there. Anyhow, looks like the eagle's about ready to bail. Yep. Maybe not. Nope, there he goes. And his buddy. I don't blame him. I don't like people either. Okay. Oh, I'm up and running. Here's a little set of pilings. Keep tripping on them. There's the picnic benches. Of course, there's where the old berm used to be before it got munched out by a bunch of miners. I've got it set at 12 and a half degrees. A little B and E inch and a half pump. Fill her up. I'm going to keep running. Well, it's time to do a little smoke break. <laughs> yeah, normally, i tell you what, normally I come out here to the beach. And it's not peaceful. I mean, we got the tour industries going through here. And uh, fishing boats. But with them calling for gale force warning, crappy weather, nobody's out here. There's no airplanes in the sky, hardly no fishing boats. Just me and Mother Nature <laughs> in the beach. So, yeah, it was smoke break time. Let me see if I can turn this camera around a little bit. Yeah, look at this. So, <laughs> the Colorado kid is best I can figure. Well, anyhow, let's go back to me. <laughs> so, I've been throwing my tailings. It looks like there's only about 10 gallons. 10 gallons worth of sand. I've literally only cleaned that much of an area. Again, I'm only taking the first four to four to six inches right off the top of this. I'm trying to take just the top. I guess the, the colors don't really show up very good, at least on my phone right now. So about every two or three piles of dirt I can put in here, then I have to take the shovel and so I'm going through water bad. I'll dig it out. Throw it over there. I'm actually going through water a lot more than I thought it was gonna. Uh, uh, it takes 20 gallons of water per tub so that's four trips there four trips there it takes uh, 10 gallons of water in the wheelbarrow so there's two trips there or one trip because I got two five gallon buckets uh, and the hose and everything the pump it holds about a five gallon bucket 
able to run it just right at barely an idle. This is nice. I did a cleanup just to make certain I wasn't on the wasn't wasn't screwing up, and my theory was wrong. But uh, <laughs> keep shoveling, Ray. <laughs> yeah, it's not very much gold, but it is it does look sure pretty in the pan. But uh, I'm pretty certain that my Colorado kid was actually over here. I'm pretty darn certain my Colorado kid was way over here. I'm pretty certain that these are the holes that he dug right through here. At least that's my gut feeling because sh he showed that he dug a hole to dig water out of. I got a feeling this is where he was at. Not over there by the little pilings. Could be wrong. This old boy, he must have dragged out his dredge recently because I got a pretty good blow hole. <laughs> Sand hole where he dug. Anyhow. Uh, gold hog sluice box with the power pig a wheelbarrow two recycling tubs two transfer one three inch and two two inch with an inch and a half pump it's working it don't eat up material quite as fast as I had hoped it takes a few seconds almost almost 30 seconds or so to eat a shovel full so that's why I've only really gotten that far but the power head attachment does work anyhow there's salmon fishermen out there trying to catch a salmon so peaceful we got fly fishermen over there there's some fly fishermen on the beach over there Eagles and the seagulls are way over there where I launch. And there are dead humpies everywhere over there. Probably stinks to high hell. We're gonna get back to shoveling. Well, that smoke break turned into a lot bigger pain in the ass than I thought. <laughs> My uh, crossover tubes, especially the two little ones, started filling full of silt. I didn't realize how much. Of the sand was going from the wheelbarrow into that bucket and the sand was also transferring from the crossover tubes into my pickup line uh, my final wash tub was actually quite full of really ultra fine so I've been sucking sucking a little tiny bit of sand through that little pump but I started seeing the water coming out of that first crossover tube it's like all right I got a problem I tried to clear it out and it just plugged right back up again. So I drained it all out. Drained it all out. So fire up and finally get back to digging again. Back to work. I <laughs> get back to work, Riza. Well, without more water, <laughs> my easy to get through water spots pretty much drying out. I've been out here three and a half hours. Starting to get a little tired. I've gone, I've packed probably, well, I had to do a full clean out. So there's 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, there's 120. And I've been packing 10 gallons at a time about every 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I've been walking over here to this old dredge hole. I've just about emptied the dredge hole. <laughs> I could run a little while longer, but I gotta save enough back power to pack all the stuff back up the hill. So I'm gonna do a get ready to do a clean out. Wanna focus on that eagle? Probably not. He's been there for a long time. So I don't know. Two good runs. I 
probably carry covered I don't know maybe six square feet it's about ten foot long and some of it's about three inches deep four inches deep some of it's been about six inches deep I started hitting one of those coming up on the organic and rust layer right there moved over sideways and working up to it so I think I'm gonna clean up the material and take it on back to the house see what I got well I got uh, I got all the all the material cleaned out <clears throat> I'm back home I'm gonna get this panned just pan down here in a second and we'll see what kind of gold I got. What better thing to do on Sunday afternoon while the Gold Prospector Space Radio Show is going on than pan for some gold. Uh, I've gone through uh, three, no, four four pans now it's pan number five i'm just panning it all out some of the guys are going to want me to go live after the show but i don't think i'm going to so but while the gold prospector space show is playing i'm just going to pan a couple of pans a quick little update because i haven't shown gold here in a little while Okay, we're right here. Still got GPS playing, but I am down to my last pan, so I figured I'll try to film panning the very last pan. <laughs> we'll try to pan it live and see how it goes. I forgot just how muddy it made the water look real quick. We actually got the weird laws on GPS right now. Maybe it's because somebody like makes it look like an eyesore, and then you want to tear it. Your feet want to tear it down. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's all. It is in Rockville. Citizens may not swim in the public fountains within the city limits. <laughs> that's just common sense. <laughs> Uh, the reason why they do that is because so you won't take the quarters back out of the thing. See, the city wants that money. <laughs> okay. In Rockville, this Rockville, they're really strict on the curse thing. It is illegal to curse in public, and this includes inside your car. So if you mouth off in a bit of rage while stuck in traffic and the motorist next to you complains... <laughs> I know a few people with a little bit of road rage it would take and get fined in that stage. I mean, traffic's, traffic's not, I can get out of my car and come see you real quick. <laughs> go back, go back to the knocking stone. What, what well, I'm going not thinking the there's going to be very much gold in it, but then again, I only moved about okay. 10 foot square area, so I'm going to go ahead and you see that lead. I'm going to roll that lead out of there. And that was used uh, where exposed bedrock or boulders are uh, with a pot shaped concavity cut into them for use with musky barley and other cereals. There's your red uh, pyrites. Milling grain or when only small quantities of cereal were processed. So you're not allowed to, to knock stones in, in there. Basically, to make that here. You know, why would somebody want to make that in a public park? I don't know. Right? That is weird balls in there. That's pretty odd. Here we go. Pretty odd indeed. 
So Rich, yep. are you traveling to next week? Uh, Nebraska. Nebraska. Let me see what they how many they got. From Nebraska. 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 There's Nebraska. Let's see if they got a bunch of fuel. Well, we got like seven. gold <laughs> prices going up. Every little bit in your pants going to count. <laughs> Are we going to call it quits here on the show? Is it already time to quit the show? Yes. Seems like the show went by a little quick today. Talking about potted meat on YouTube with Gold Prospector Space. Now they're mentioning bologna. Well, when you pack 200 plus gallons of water, the high bank on the beach, and you shovel for three hours, and you get only 6.3 grains worth of gold, you might have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, I've got the gold fevers, I tell you. I know how to 